up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the brand new 2022 bmw 228i grand coupe courtesy of apple bmw in york pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are in this one today because this is a very good looking car in my personal opinion it is priced well as well this thing actually starts in the mid thirty thousand dollar range which is quite remarkable for a bmw at least but also there are a couple new options for the 2022 model year as well and so ultimately in this video i will be going over them as well as acceleration braking steering throw ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so msrp for the 228i grand coupe will start at thirty five thousand seven hundred dollars pretty good but x drive being the all-wheel drive system is available that is going to bump that up to thirty seven thousand seven hundred dollars regardless of which configuration that you go with though the power plant on this little beast is going to be the same powering this thing is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 rpm 258 pound feet of torque coming in at approximately 14 1400 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters which you guys know we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to differ between the front wheel drive and the all-wheel drive front wheel drive is going to come in at approximately 6.3 seconds all-wheel drive is slightly quicker coming in at six seconds flat mpg numbers again are going to differ 24 in the city 34 on the highway for the front wheel drive 23 in the city 33 on the highway for the all-wheel drive so the all-wheel drive is going to be quicker and mpgs are only going to drop by one therefore i would go with the all-wheel drive if i were to get this one but anyways taking premium unleaded fuel buff so before we do that acceleration or paddle shifter test here in the 228i i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes drive mode buttons are located just to the left of the shifter they will include eco pro comfort and sport adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity then as well so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test and let's see how quickly these things are going to react for us here all right bit of a rolling start let's turn quick and it's raining quick insanely quick as expected i've tested so many paddle shifters in bmws and they never fail me they are always instantaneous so huge fan of that definitely not going to have any issues it's going to be quite a fun car to drive when you put it in those paddle shifters which you can't always say but anyways to get back full control to the 228 i'm just going to slide the shifter back to the right having said that let's find yet another straightaway and let's put the acceleration here to the test and let's see how quickly this thing is going to get us up to speed all right in three two one yeah! turbo lag it's quick though yeah it's quick though a little bit of turbo lag at the beginning if i'm being completely honest but once that kicked in it's freaking quick i definitely don't mind that now i will say there is a more powerful version an m version of this car which i'm not going to touch on in this video because that is its own review in itself but Having said that, this thing is still plenty quick. You're definitely not going to have any issues emerging onto the highway. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So as expected, you will find four-wheel ventilated disc brakes coming standard on this thing. 60 to zero stopping distance comes in at 113 feet. Let's test that out. Feels great. Honestly, the braking feel is on the firmer side of things, which I can appreciate in a car like this. It's more of a fun to drive car. So definitely digging the braking feel on the 228i instantly brings you to a stop. So no issues there whatsoever. Then touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a double pivot spring and strut type front suspension in the back independent multi-link rear suspension, twin tube gas pressurized shock absorbers. And actually one of those new options for the 2022 model year is going to be the M Sport with dynamic handling package that goes for $4,950. So there's going to be the M Sport package and then there's going to be the M Sport with dynamic handling package. So there are two separate options, but essentially what that dynamic handling package is going to do is add an adaptive damping suspension, meaning it's going to monitor each shock absorber individually, not only adjusting to the road imperfections, giving you a smoother ride, but also tightening up the suspension during heavy cornering, giving you better handling as well. So giving you the best of both worlds. So I am always a fan 
of those types of suspensions, whatever they are available, I would always recommend getting them because you can tell the difference between the two. But having said that, ride quality has been 100% on point in the 228i today. Definitely one of the smoother rides I've experienced in quite a while, which is odd for me to say considering the size of this vehicle. Typically in more compact cars, you get a much firmer ride, but this thing rides like a BMW. So I actually love it and I'm quite surprised that it has this smooth of a ride, even with it being a BMW, because again, the size of the vehicle. But anyways, steering feel is wonderful as well. You can instantly tell the difference depending upon which drive mode that you put it in. If you want a looser steering feel, go ahead and put it in comfort. If you want a heavier steering feel, go ahead and put it in sport. And the 1002 grips, because we have the M Sport package today, are mammoth as they always are in BMW. And that's one of the things I absolutely love about BMWs as well. These 1002 grips give you such a better feeling of being in control and a better feeling of the handling characteristics in this car overall so i am a huge fan of those 10 to 2 grips anyways cabin noise again 100 perfectly fine definitely a very serene cabin here in the 228i and touching on visibility i can see perfectly fine out the back typically in smaller cars like this one it's definitely not going to have any issues there and rain sensing windshield wipers also do come standard on this thing as well but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 BMW 228i Grand Coupe. All right, so here she is, you guys. The new 2022 BMW 228i Grand Coupe finished in skyscraper gray metallic, in case anyone was curious of our exterior paint color here. By the way, that paint color is a $550 option if you wanted to go that route. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on the 228i here. Active kidney front grille, meaning those shutters will open and close dependent upon engine cooling that is needed at any given time. You do have gloss black vertical slats across the center there, of course, and chrome surrounds typically will come standard. However, with the M Sport, you do have that option for gloss black surrounds as well. And those gloss black surrounds continue all around the front of the vehicle, the side, and basically everywhere. So anyway, speaking of that M Sport package, that does give you a completely revised front fascia, much more aggressive look, many more gloss black accents as well, like I was saying. Okay, so anybody was curious what that little black thing is just on the bottom portion of that front end there, that is going to be the adaptive cruise control sensor. You do have front air curtains helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination to the sides there, definitely love that. Speaking of to the sides, LED headlights do come standard on the 228i with LED daytime running lights. Of course, you get the automatic feature, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, these headlights will turn on automatically for you there. Automatic high beams also come standard, meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's gonna automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's gonna then automatically bump it back up to high beams. So definitely a very convenient feature there. And actually, if you go with the premium two package, which by the way, goes for $2,150, that gives you an adaptive front lighting system. Meaning when you're going around the bend at night, those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend. So that is definitely a very nice feature as well. And overall, I do like the M Sport look up front. I prefer it to the non M Sport look. That's just my personal preference, but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side. All right, so now since we are around to the side of the 228i Grand Coupe, satin aluminum window surrounds do come standard. However, again, since we have the M Sport, we got some gloss black window surrounds, which look plenty good on the side there. Taking a look at the side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They are heated. They come with LED integrated turn signals and they are power folding as well. So all of that comes standard. That is pretty nice. You don't always get that power folding feature coming standard, even on luxury vehicles. So I didn't want to mention that. But anyways, taking a look down at the wheel configuration, 17 inch double five spoke alloys coming standard. However, those M Sport packages are going to bump that up to 18 inch M specific alloys. So did want to mention that as well. And there are some blue brake calipers since we're looking at the wheels here behind those wheels. There are some blue brake calipers available with the M Sport packages there too. But anyways, pretty much rounds out the side profile. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, so but now since we are around to the back of this one, body colored shark fin and antenna all the way to the top. There is a center high mount stop lamp also coming standard. There is also a rear spoiler available. We do have that. That looks plenty good back there. Gloss black 
black accents tying together the two tail lights if you go with one of the M Sports. Otherwise, you're gonna get some satin aluminum trim there. To the sides, LED tail lights do come standard across the board and just below it all, with that M Sport dynamic handling package, you will get a very large gloss black rear diffuser. Then to the sides, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around back of the 228i when it comes to opening that rear trunk there is a button on the key fob there is a button on the driver's side door and of course there's a button on the trunk itself as well but once opened up cargo capacity comes in an even 12 cubic feet if that was not enough space there are some levers located in that trunk because there is a 40 20 40 split meaning those receipts do fold down bumping that up quite substantially as far as cargo lighting goes it's actually led cargo lighting which you don't always find which is pretty cool to see there's a little bit of netted storage there to the right and also there is a decent amount of in-floor storage if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor as well you definitely don't always get that in cars you usually get it in suvs but it's actually a decent amount i was kind of surprised there and you get a grocery bag hook. You never get that in sedans. You usually get that in SUV. So a lot of SUV-like features found in that cargo area, which quite honestly kind of impressed me. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way to the rear legroom that is going to come in at 34.4 inches. So for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is how much space I had sitting behind my own driving position there. Rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. There is rear ventilation also coming standard and two phone charging ports just underneath of that rear ventilation that as well then make our way to the front seats power adjustable front seats do come standard with two-way power adjustable side bolsters that's something bmw does and no other manufacturers really do that where it comes standard at least and giving you that power adjustable side bolsters it definitely hugs you in place a heck of a lot better especially if you plan on taking turns a little bit quicker so was a huge fan of that and of course with the m sport package that does give you better bolstered seats in general as well you do get memory settings for up to two different drivers that actually comes standard on the 228i Grand Coupe, so that's pretty cool. Sensatec upholstery is going to come standard. However, Dakota leather is optional for an additional $1,450, and we do have that option. You are looking at Magma Red Dakota leather, in case anybody wanted the exact color. So that is what that looks like. I like it. But anyways, heated front seats and heated steering wheel comes part of a package for $550 if you wanted those heated front seats. Overall seating was 100% plenty comfortable with the power lumbar support with the adjustable side bolsters really it doesn't get a whole lot better when it comes to seat comfort than this then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped heated steering wheel is going to be optional as i just mentioned and if you go with one of those m sport packages you will get an m specific steering wheel meaning you get the little m logo at the bottom portion of the steering wheel and also those thicker 10 and 2 grips giving you the better feeling of being in control at least in my personal opinion but now let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here essentially all of your buttons are located on the one side of the key if you go with the m sport packages you will get those m colors on the side of the key but lock is going to be the bmw logo and then you got unlock and that button to pop the rear trunk there and you do get a remote start via the bmw app if you wanted to go that route but essentially it's all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and so but then once started up this is pretty cool you guys 8.8 inch digital gauge cluster comes standard on the 228i Grand Coupe. That is pretty cool because you didn't always get that in the past with BMWs. You usually get the analog gauges standard. But anyways, another one of those new options for 2022 though is navigation integration into that digital gauge cluster that goes for $600 and that is now newly available for the 2022 model year. Also, another thing I like about the gauges is when you adjust the driving modes, it's going to change the color. So if I were to put it in sport, it's going to give me a lot of red hues. If I were to put it in eco pro, it's going to give me a lot of blue hues. And if I were to put it in comfort, it's kind of a reddish orange, which honestly matches our seats pretty darn good. So, and of course you got how many miles you have left until you hit empty outside temperature, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital gauges up there. But now let's go ahead and take a look at overall interior quality. There is going to 
to be a panoramic moonroof that goes for $1,350. So the rear passengers can have their own little moonroof back there as well. Universal garage door opener goes for $200 and it comes with a frameless rear view mirror. But by the way, that's for up to three different garage doors there. Anthracite headliner does come standard illuminated Berlin trim. I like that as well. I believe that's probably the carbon fiber-ish look, although it's not carbon fiber, of course, found on the doors as well as just underneath the infotainment screen there. Auto dimming rear view mirror comes standard along with the auto dimming driver's side mirror that comes standard again. Definitely don't always get that even on luxury vehicles. Multi-zone climate control coming standard. Ambient lighting goes for $250 if you wanted to go that route. Just in front of the shifter, you have a space to put your cell phone. You have dual cup holders, a 12 volt power outlet, and a USB charging port. Behind the shifter, you're gonna find an electromechanical parking brake. And within the center armrest, very little bit of storage, but you do have a phone charging port actually in there as well. And overall, I'm definitely a big fan of the interior quality. It's honestly, it's perfectly fine for me got some heavy duty floor mats in this thing as well which are probably an option but they look pretty good but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen 8.8 inch color touchscreen display of course to match the 8.8 inch digital gauge cluster anyways to adjust what is on the infotainment screen it is a touch screen like i said but you do have a circular dial and buttons just to the right of the shifter that's another way it is voice activated and then gesture control is available for 190 dollars which is an amazing option you essentially could turn up and down the radio by just making a circular motion either clockwise or counterclockwise Likewise, there's so many different things you can do with gesture control and I feel like I try to do that in every vehicle I review now because I just love that option but anyways Bluetooth and audio streaming coming standard Android Auto Apple CarPlay factory navigation system with over-the-air updates coming standard I love that you can check out some of your car statistics you can adjust your ambient lighting up there if you were to go with that package at least so for some reason we have blue ambient lighting on I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to orange so it matches our seats perfectly so we'll do that of course you can check out your radio information up there as well so by the way the standard sound system is going to be a 10 speaker hi-fi sound system so having said that what do you guys say let's go ahead and turn on the radio let's see what we got playing today and let's test out the clarity of this one <laughs> honestly guys honestly for a 10 speaker sound system that feels so much better than a 10 speaker sound system i've tested harman kardon sound systems on other vehicles that basically sound the same as this 10 speaker sound system on this bmw 228i so that sound system was perfectly fine you were definitely not going to have any issues with that sound system and i think why is because of the size of the vehicle it's really not all that big so 10 speakers for the size of the 228i it's 100 perfectly fine but last thing i want to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put this thing in reverse you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so to start iihs top safety pick believe it or not you don't always get that in vehicles of this size so i was definitely a big fan to see that front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver and passenger knee airbags up front as well in the back you're going to have latch aka lower anchors tethers for children for the rear car seats rear child door locks tire pressure monitoring system but also coming standard front and rear parking sensors frontal collision warning blind spot detection lane departure warning and speed limit recognition then as well so overall when it comes to my final thoughts of this thing excellent driving dynamics i'm just going to put it that way because really the acceleration was great the braking was great the handling was amazing so overall very fun car to drive IIHS top safety pick again I didn't expect that that pretty much says it all right there when it comes to safety so big fan of that as well fun exterior design I actually like the exterior design believe it or not I know it's kind of 50 50 with people but me personally I'm a big fan of it digital gauge cluster coming standard I like the BMW starting to do that as well also a fan of the ambient lighting if I were to have any constructive criticism whatsoever there's just a slight bit of turbo lag when you first hit the gas but other than that this thing is definitely up my alley and overall i was a big fan but let me know what you guys think of the new 228i grand coupe in the comments section below i always love reading your comments but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see pictures and stuff of these cars before they actually get to youtube go ahead and hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video Stay gold.